Good morning, beginning farmer friends. I am tired and I am not going to speak very loudly because I am tired and it's 4.09 a.m. I've been up for about 20 minutes. I laid in bed for about 10 minutes and then I got ready and I came over here because today is the first day of farmer's market. And I've got a lot of changes to my farmer's market booth. Some of them include these coolers right here. So I thought, you know what? Why don't I take you along for the ride? And that ride at the downtown Des Moines Farmer's Market for us right now starts at 4 a.m. So here's what's gonna happen. I'll give you a rundown of the day and then we'll just do it. We're gonna load up these coolers and the other coolers. We're gonna put them in the back of the new trailer Yes, the new trailer we are going to go to the farmers market stop and get some dry ice along the way be set up by seven o'clock have the farmers market all that good stuff come back here and then actually we're gonna go back to Des Moines for a friend of ours their farm is having a plant sale I don't know I don't feel very awake so I think I just need to stop talking it's time to get going The time is now 4.52. I am checking the freezers to make sure that they are all shut. It took, I don't remember, did it take about 40, 45 minutes? Which is a little bit longer than normal, but it is okay for the first time. Oh my goodness, it's dark out here. In here, I've got the trailer packed. It's kind of pell-mell, pumble jumble. We're gonna have one, oh my, we're not taking the cat with us. We're going to have one cooler that goes right down here. That's for the eggs. We've got a bunch of our materials and supplies in the back seat of the truck right now because I don't have a good place for it in here. We are so close to ready to go. I've got to go get the vendor parking pass. I don't really know where I'm going to park. And then, yeah, we got to get the eggs and we're out of here. Kitty, 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 kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. I got to get that cat. And just like that, four minutes later than I had planned, we are off. It's okay. It's only 5.04. We'll get up there to the market, I would say, a little bit after 6 by the time we stop. I don't know about you guys, but I am a fitful sleeper when I have to get up early in the morning. And I consider 3.55 early in the morning. I actually woke up at 3 o'clock this morning, and I woke up at 3 50 this morning and I woke up like twice before that I don't know I'm rocking four and a half hours of sleep is what I'm trying to say it always happens to me at the market I'm always nervous I'm always running around that first Saturday I am not completely pleased with what I got done this week in preparation for the market but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do okay enough talking we'll see you next at the market when hopefully the Sun is up we're here, and I forgot to show you on loading the trailer because it is 6.20. We have 40 minutes to get ready. I have to go find a place to park with this trailer. That's the one thing that I don't know what I'm doing. But our friends from Grady Gardens, they're right over there. Hey, Grady Gardens! You know what I don't want to do? Be here, but since they're here, we'll make it work. 31 minutes until bell rings time. It's time to set up in super speed mode. Seven o'clock, the bell rang. I'm not ready. Okay, 
don't blow away first here. Do you guys ever get naked? Uh, no, we don't dip that. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Can I get a pack of your smoke for those turkey? Yeah. $5. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm wearing the bacon suit right now. It has been one hour, actually one hour and three minutes since we've opened. We've had some pretty good sales. Here is our booth right here. We are on the corner of Second and Court. Court is kind of the main drag of this farmer's market. Again, totally different. I'll put a link to our farmer's market last year here, here, somewhere by my bacon head. But it was a totally different market last year. This year, this is a totally different market than we're used to. They've got half as many vendors, about 115 as opposed to 230. There's quite a few less people than normal, but it's still been good. So thankfully that's what we've got going on here. Uh, I've got a customer here though, so I better get back to work. On the chop, did you want a bone in chop or a bone in? Bone in. I just have the Iowa chop one. No, it's hard to. Yeah, yeah. I have the accent, but one of the time. How's it going, you may ask? It is bonkers, B-O-N-K-E-R-S, bonkers. And part of the reason it's bonkers is, I don't know if you can hear it, but it is just massively windy. The tent is trying to fly away. We are on a corner here and the wind just funnels up from the south. <sighs> I can't even begin to tell you how windy it is. But it is very, very good day so far. So we're thankful for that. Hopefully it's the bacon suit because I don't know. Actually, hopefully it's not the bacon suit because I don't know if I ever want to wear it again. Oh yeah, and uh, worst farmer ever. We sold out of bacon and skinless brats. Two huge sellers. I do, yeah. Oh, great. Anything else? Anything else? Um, we'll be here every week okay. from now until the end of October. So uh, 950. 9.50. Our tent's down because wind, okay? We're gonna start picking up. It's 11.53, we're tore down. Everything's in a pile there. There's a limousine coming over my shoulder over here. I don't really know if it's a real limousine. It was a very good market. Do you wanna see something funny? Oh, it's gonna be so dark. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. I parked my rig, my trailer, and my truck just in the parking garage. I couldn't really figure out where the good place to park was. And when I drove by, I saw that there was a trailer around the corner here, so trailer in the parking garage. Hopefully I can get out of the parking garage. We're going to load up the trailer. We're going to head home. I'll bring you along with me because you know what's happening next? We're coming back to Des Moines for a plant sale for our friends, which is going to be awesome. All right, we're loaded up. Now we can go home. And I do have to admit, and I hate to admit it, but it seems like that bacon suit, it did something. Now, I don't, I don't wanna say that it made the greatest downtown Des Moines farmer's market day we've ever had because I don't know if I wanna wear that bacon suit in August when it's 96 degrees, but people did notice the bacon suit. They also noticed the cooler, so six in one, half a dozen in the other. I don't know, let's go for a drive. So here's the funny thing. I forgot my camera, but we are set up at Grade A Gardens for their plant sale. Really, the reason for coming here was because we love Grade A Gardens, and it's just a reason to get off the farm on a sunny, beautiful, crazy windy day. There wouldn't have been a lot of work getting done. Anyways, because so windy. Let me go show you some of the plants inside. They have an amazing garden here at Grade A Gardens. And oh, Rupert and an amazing dog, Rupert, that just walked away from me. Let's go look at the plants. As you can see, they've got a ton of often awesome stuff in here, but they can't spell vegetables. I don't know. I don't know if I trust a vegetable farmer they can't spell. I am back. It is the end of the day. It is dark. I hope you liked a little bit of that video from the Great A Gardens plant sale. 
This is pretty awesome. I'm gonna step in here. Let me just give you a quick recap of the day. It was amazing. It was busy. I am tired. I have a very, very busy driving this week. I have my regular CSA on Tuesday, then Tuesday night I need to come home because I've got a three hour drive that I have to get ready for by loading chickens like 2.30 in the morning, Wednesday morning. I gotta take those chickens up, of course wait for them to be processed, and then drive home, and then all again on Saturday, a week from today, we do it all over again for the market. Let me tell you about the trailer real quick. I'll just touch on it and in the daylight we can look at it sometimes. Two things that we learned about it. One, don't haul eggs in it. It bounces back there and we broke eggs in it because it really bounces back there. And two, I need to redo the seals all the way around the doors. Holy dust. It was dusty in there. But I'm glad that we have it because we would not have been able to take as much stuff as we took, especially those little coolers. That bacon suit probably wouldn't have been able to take a bacon suit without the trailer. Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. I am going to go put away meat into these freezers. And then I got to catch chickens and I don't know. I don't know. I got to get ready for it tomorrow so I can be ready for the next day. It's just that time of season. It's busy, busy, busy.